Okay, so how do we do back offsets, right? So sometimes we will have our the program set up where we'll do a rep max and we'll do cascading back offsets. And you'll see something like this where we'll go back squat, five rep max, and they'll say, you know, minus 5%, minus 10%. Those are the two back offsets, right? So you're gonna see it notated over here. We want five reps each, minus five, minus 10, okay? These numbers are referencing the rep max that gets established. So let's say, we were hitting five reps in, five reps, loading the bar, loading the bar, and then we get up to 100 kilograms on our back squat for five reps. That's the most we can do with good technique, okay? Now we gotta do two more sets, right? So basically three, three really working sets is what we're looking for. The five rep max itself, and then the two back offsets that are coming off of it. Each one is being calculated off the original number. So kind of what it's notating here is, it wants 5% less of 100 of the rep, established rep max, and then it wants 10% less of this established rep max. But essentially, it's just this, the original number twice, right? So in our case, we'd say 5% of 100 kilograms is five kilos. So we would do our first back offset at 95. And then we would just subtract another five kilos to get that 10%, right? And we would do 90 kilograms as our second back offset. So first to establish the rep max, Beautiful technique, most weight we can do for the given rep scheme. Then we take what's 5% of that number out, and then we take another 5% out as we get into the additional back offsets.